Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Stellaris Console Edition. Alrighty, when we left off, we had... Whoop. Already done that, but I guess now is when that one prox, I guess? Okay, that was weird. Um, I guess it was a bugged uh, achievement that is now fixed, I guess. Um, also, there was a non-aggression pact between the Spalaxic Star Nation and Earth. Cool. Okay, well, um, when we left off, as I was going to say, uh, before that weird thing happened, um, we were trying uh, to, well, deal with now... A war with... <laughs> a war with... Fuck, the Caesarian Entity. There we go. Uh, I was trying to remember the name and my brain wouldn't focus on it. Uh, so we're at war with the Caesarian Entity. Um, we're also trying a little bit to, uh, you know, do our general thing. Expand our reaches of our... Uh, da 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 of our empire outwards into this area, which there is a lot of uncollected uh, stuff here, as well as over here. So we'll be working on that. But also there is, uh, you know, other things that my brain can't remember. <laughs> um, yeah, for right now, we're just trying to expand into directions that'll help us and at the same time help our allies which are our allies here uh technically kind of here and here uh because technically now uh the Polissima syndicate is playing nice so we'll play nice as long as they are uh but the sutherian entity really 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 needs to uh calm its tits uh just a little bit or was did we already beat them i guess we already beat them <laughs> i guess uh i thought we were still at war as you can tell i'm a little confused <laughs> i'm a little confused i'm not remembering everything that complete. happened but we're working on it we're working on things we're working on Ooh, hello we're working on expanding our borders per usual and uh that should be what we focus on most i think yeah that makes more sense okay anyway since that's what we're doing oh they entered a commercial pact too cool i can't do that yet so i'll just erase that um and they entered a migration treaty okay inbound message traffic oh Spalaxic Star Nation now wants to make one with me. Here at the Spalaxic Star Nation, we consistently deliver more for less, and today we would like to offer you a deal you simply cannot refuse. A commercial pact with us. Tell us you can't refuse. I mean, technically I could, but I mean... It would probably be nice for both of us. Sure. Yeah, I agree. Why not? And you're done there, which means I need to get you started on... Oh. Okay. Um, I hate when that happens. There we go. Good. That takes care of that. Construction complete. Uh oh. And this one's done already. Damn, that was fast. All right. Um... Hmm. Where should I go from here? Good question. One that I'm not prepared to answer. <laughs> um, hmm. Well, I mean... I guess... In the grand scheme of things, doing this is probably a good 
way to position ourselves, so... Yeah, do that. <laughs> I guess, why not? Unless there's something in Trisium that I should be paying attention to. It's an ocean world. No, there's nothing I need to pay attention to there. Yet. Key phrase. Pulkor. Who's in Pulkor again? Pulkor 3 was a Gaia world. Science division reports Decent the size. new breakthrough. Okay, so I need to head this way anyway. So this works out. This kind of works out. All right. We now have X-ray lasers, and they're green. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Um, what should we be going for next? I'm already halfway to antimatter power. Interesting. Very interesting. Let's go for it. Why not? We're already halfway there. Why not, right? All right. Ahead we go. Inbound message Whoa. traffic. The Spalaxic Star Nation is now asking for association status. Would like to cooperate more closely with the federal sovereign nations. Leaving aside the questions of membership, would you consider granting us association status? I mean, you're playing nice so far. I like that. Let's do that. Sure. And just need for the Eon Alliance to vote. And I guess the answer was yes. Okay. Good. Fantastic. And they are now in the Empire's Reaches and now can upgrade. Hey! The next Federation level has been unlocked. Our new Federation perks are now active. Oh, that's cool. Didn't think we'd get there. And I'm now president. Hello. <laughs> Mr. President. All right, I'm going to shut up now. Wow! Wow, we are getting XP at a really rapid pace. Damn. That's good. All right. That's real good. Okay. Level two. Let's look at those perks. There was... You know, Galactic Union was the first. The Officer Exchange. Interoperability and deployability. Those are some words of our combined fleet are greatly enhanced by conducting frequent naval exercises with command rotating between the flag officers of all member states the amount members contribute towards the federation naval capacity counts for 25 percent more cool. a welcoming nature regardless of cultural or biological differences growth of the federation is to everyone's benefit new members impose a 50 percent smaller cohesion penalty to the Federation. That's good. That's good. I like the sound of that. The better future we're striving to build will only work if all beings are aware of what we mean to achieve. We intend to become a pervasive, persuasive force for peace in the galaxy. Which gives us another available envoy. Hell yeah! Alright. Let's look at the laws. Since I am now president, after all, I can do things. Federal, or rather, federation centralization. Federal, I guess, technically works. Um, the level of federation influence over member states are kept very low. Okay. Fleet contribution can be counted as low. Monthly cohesion gets hit a little bit. But the Eon Alliance supports it. Hmm. Vote weight is equal. Can subjects join? No. Status change. Hmm. hmm. War declaration has to be a unanimous vote. As does inviting members. And kicking members is a majority vote. Um, there's nothing that more I can do there. I can change the succession term. 
and they support this idea. That's funny, considering I'm the one in command now, and this affects my <laughs> term. Interesting. But they support it now, so okay. These laws determine when a member is chosen for president. Uh, status change. A new president is chosen whether another member surpasses them by 25%. Don't know what that means. But okay. We'll go for 30 years. Sure. A failed vote will result in negative effect on cohesion. Well, the Yan Alliance supports it by 50, so I'm going to say we're good. And it's changed. Yes. Beautiful. All right, so now it is 30 years, and it will not be able to change for another, I'm assuming that's 30 years, somewhere in that ballpark. Okay, cool. That's fine. Um, fleets. I can now generate ship designs for the Federation. Oh, that's cool. Halcyon Wounding Claw and Shriek. You know, I don't like those names all that well. At least not this way. Hmm. Let's change it to something I prefer. Oopsie doodle. I didn't realize it put two of them in there. Ah! Okay. It's gonna be harder than I thought. <laughs> okay, I was trying to do it quietly with the thumbsticks, but it didn't want to do that. All right, um, those are done. I do not want them on swarm. I want them on picket. All right, um, railgun is good, although I'm not sure I want to put that there. I want to put that there. Really, none of us have done any done anything in that regard. So, we do have that though. Which is good. It's very good. Alright, uh, let's save this design. And we will delete this design. Good. Alright. And with that in mind, we shall then make this follow the same path. Even though technically King Cheetah is its own separate thing. We're now also doing... King Panther! Alright. Um, gunship. Uh, what? We're not doing picket for that, no. We're doing line for that. That's a better idea. Uh, but I'm not sure which one I want to put where. Gunship stern. There we go. That's a good idea. Um, plasma thrower. That's actually pretty good. It's not better than the X-ray laser, but it will be. So we'll, when we get upgraded anyway, it will be better. So dealing with armor and hull is good. Penetration of shield and armor. Mm, be helpful for sure, but... I'd rather go for railgun and railgun. And then have Disruptor in the back here. Yeah, that's a good idea. I like that idea. Put that there. Uh, we'll put shields there. Put crystal juice plating there. And then armor there. There we go. I think I like this. I think I like this design. I'll also auto upgrade it. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's fine. All right. That ain't too bad. I like that. We'll go with this. Cool. 
and then we'll delete the wounding claw. Though I do like the name. I do like the name, I'm not gonna lie, but we're, we're going with our own theme here. Um, and of course, we're going to borrow a thing. Unfortunate though it may be. I like the name. All right, an artillery, artillery, gunship. Uh, broadside is personally my better opinion. Right. Is better in my opinion is what I meant to say. Brain, no work good <laughs> when designing ship things. Okay, um, we shall make. This the artillery. Unless we have a hangar core. We do have a hangar core. Uh, hmm. Artillery bow, missile bow, broadsides bow, blah, blah, blah. Hmm. Um, that's it. That's not even close to good enough. Um, yeah, let's do it with plasma throwers. Why not? I like that idea, actually. The, uh, semi-shorter range, but still pretty long range. Rail guns will knock down the shields, and then the plasma throwers will destroy the armor and hull. I like that idea. And it will all run as artillery. Good. Good, 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 good. Save that. Destroy that design. And we are good. Looks good to me. All right. No leader assigned, mainly because it's this space amoeba. There's no leader to assign. <laughs> anyway, uh, now that we've done that with the Federation and everything else is as I... Hmm. The contribution. Huh. This would unlock having a higher fleet contribution. And it would be 10% of the naval capacity to the Federation. Which knocks down monthly cohesion a little bit. Hmm. Technically, the Yon Alliance opposes it right now. Eh, well, I guess we'll call it good. It's fine. It's fine. It's all fine. Okay. Now we move forward. Construction Finally. complete. Oh. And they're done. Good. Then you make the uh, research station. Whoop. That wasn't what I meant to do. I don't know why that ended up going there. Uh... Okay, so that's completed. What do we got? Wait, what? Regulatory facilitation. That's what happened. Okay. Fair enough. Repealed pan-galactic recycling initiatives. No. No, we, we decline that. We decline this too. Okay. Yep, it, that looks good. We're good from here. For now. Anyway. Oh, look at that! I only just noticed our credits, our energy credits are now going way complete. up. 38. Holy shit. I love the sound of that. Alright. Oh, I didn't know this was a trinary. Cool. 
Very cool. Alright. Um, should probably move them to bade here. That way we'll get them started there next. Inbound message traffic. Oh? I'll check on this one real quick. Okay, they're done there. Did they never... They did never finish there. Well, I'll move them over there to finish that. And then we'll move them on to the next thing. Which will be... Orin? Maybe? No. No. We'll focus on Red Amon first. Red Amon! Okay. Alrighty. Um... Actually, you know what? After they're done with that, send it back to Eum for a little bit. Alright, uh, Spexalak wants to form a research agreement. We have much to learn from one another, Phelan. Phelan. We propose the creation of a research agreement between our alliances. Or, uh, empires. The words are hard. But, yes, we'll do it. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Hey, we finished droids. Cool. Upgraded robotic workers. These units have an expanded movement range equal to that of most organics. Their neural processors have also been greatly improved. Good. Good, 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 good. good. Oh, something I need. Nano circuit assembly. Oh, boy, do I need these. To upgrade the civilian industries to civilian fabricators. With pre-programmed nano circuits, many consumer products can be rapidly assembled in fabricators. I would hope so. Also, there was the antimatter power thing I forgot to read. Oopsie doodle. By harnessing the energy produced by matter slash antimatter annihilations, our efficiency of at generating ship power will be orders of magnitude better than fusion. Cool shit. All right. Let's do it. Well, we got two things. Delta aliens in the Parsec system that we've never encountered before. Interesting. Kettling activity in the Paragir system. Sensors report a sudden burst of activity in the Paragir system. The previously encountered Ketlings have launched a fleet of FTL-capable warships, and planet-side reconnaissance indicates the enormous junk heaps that made up their homes in fact concealed extensive mining networks, power plants, fungus farms, and subterranean research facilities. While alarming, their ships have thus far made no display of hostile intent, and is quite possible the Ketlings are merely establishing defenses along their borders. Nevertheless, it is clearly time to recognize these aliens as an empire in their own right. Marvelous! Let's do it! Permanent communications have been established and with the alien Ketling empire. And Ketling Star Pack! That's a name. After sex... <laughs> successfully... <laughs> sexfully! <laughs> Translating their language. Oh boy. Oh gods. I already have a reputation as a monster fucker. Let's just not make it worse, shall we? <laughs> After successfully translating their language, we have established communications with the Ketling Star Pack. Diplomatic channels are now open and all hostilities have been terminated. Excellent. The Ketlings! And they do look similar to the other species that we were talking to. Of that one ship. Valens, this is Snip Schnap. <laughs> That's a hell of a name. Snip Schnap. Uh, sip. <laughs> Technically, Schnap. <laughs> Snip Schnap. <laughs> Snip Schnap. Oh, that's a f fucking glorious name, my friend. Oh, I love you. I love you to bits. Oh, boy. You you will hate everything about me. But, I mean... <laughs> I love your name, bud. <laughs> this is Snip Schnop of the Far Minds. We are the pack. 
We are the Sinad. We are many, working as one. For centuries we have tunneled deep in the glow warm ash of our fallen keepers. Are these basically just <laughs> Are these basically the rats from Warhammer? Are they basically what they are? <laughs> Is that what this is? <laughs> uh, are these the Skaven? I was trying to come up with a name. Are these the Skaven right now? The glow warm fucking far mines. <laughs> uh, I, I guess I should talk like that other one. Felons, this is Snipschnap of the far mines. We are the pack. We are the Synod. We are many, working as one. For centuries we have tunneled deep in the glow-warm ash of our fallen keepers. The great blasts took them, but the warm glow that followed opened our minds. Their bodies fed us. The machines surrounded us. We have all... We have taken all we can from their depths. We have outgrown our cages yet again. Are you allies? Are you threats? One million eyes are watching. Well, together we can achieve greatness. Inbound message traffic. Inbound message traffic. Oh, Spuxalak are asking for a migration treaty. Sorry, kind of not our thing. Sorry. All right, the sp Spuxalac. Okay, I was, I was looking for, I was looking for the thing. There we are, the Ketling Star Pack. Oh no, they don't like me. Oh no, they don't like me. Uh, <laughs> they really don't like me. Oh, they're psychic. They're psychic. How about that? They're also pathetic, but I mean, they're psychic. Nice. They're expansionist. Makes sense considering. Um, hmm. We have Cassus Belli based on ideology. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. I can't really blame them for that. Um, you know what? We're going to send an envoy to you to improve relations. Because I do not want to have you automatically dislike me. I don't want... I want you guys to succeed! You came from the depths of a ruined planet. I want y'all to succeed. That's cool. Alright. Let's send in Brooklyn Burnside. Brooklyn Burnside. So basically we got a city from the west from the east coast. And <laughs> Okay, city from the east coast, and then a road that goes throughout a city on the west coast. Okay, all right, sure, why not? That's that's her name. Let's go with it. Let's do it. All right, going to make them like us, one way or another. God damn it! Border friction. Oh, that's going to be a Ships problem. Ships refitted. Science division reports a new breakthrough. Oh, they closed borders to us. Oh, well, I mean, that's understandable, considering they don't like me right now. That's fine. Uh, we've completed reactive formations. Nice. The fleet has been upgraded fully. That's even better. And we'll move on to the next research thing. Ooh, I will definitely need that, but there's also this. Xeno Relations. A grand embassy complex that allows me to upgrade the embassy I already have and adds a, another envoy available. Oh, that's cool. I can continue having envoys for as long as I want to be peaceful to people. That's cool. That's cool as shit, bro. Alright. Um, but I do need to get rid of some dangerous wildlife on some planets. So, let's work on this one. 
Tactical disruption of natural habitats combined with the converging search and destroy patterns can effectively eliminate hostile wildlife in a very short span of time. Well, let's learn how to do it then. I'm all for it. They all... They all took up everything. They took up everything that was in this general area. Damn it. <laughs> I was hoping they'd leave some for me. But that's fine. That's fine. Holy shit! I'm only just now looking at the numbers for their trade capability. Holy shit! 97, 70, 35. Holy fuck. That's more than what I got on my home fucking system. Are you for real? Holy shit, Nuggets. Oh, I'm making them friends. I'm making them our friends. I am making them our friends. There is no way I'm not. Oh, uh, I only just noticed Detinal is not claimed. How much would it piss them off if I tried to claim it right now? How much would it piss them off? Well, I guess we'll find out, won't we? head over here and just take that there we go and, uh, they're gonna finish that and then once they start that I guess I can get them moving here perfect and that's good all right I'm really hoping I get there in time I'm really hoping I get there in time Okay, the Numistic Orders come through again. Alright, cool. Very cool. Many wondrous things pass through our hands, yet we never line our pockets. It is the sacrifice we make, so that the construction of the Tessar Tarvel is completed, and our children may one day see the Holy Land again. Okay. I don't believe the first part. But the second part intrigues me. I want to know what the Tissar Tarvil is. Show us your wares. May we present one of our finest spiritual leaders, a level 9 Shakva with enhanced mind focus and inner gaze. Under the goddess's guidance, business on your worlds will flourish. Will flourish. His voice is weird. <laughs> All we ask is a small donation in credits. As always, if you need time to consider, we can notify you before we depart your territory, giving you one more chance to accept the goddess's generous offer. A skill three governor, blessed by the goddess of fortune, joins the Empire of Felinae. Hmm. Get back to me. The deal may change. Okay. As you wish, Phelans, we will contact you again before we leave. But bear in mind, Numa is a fickle mistress. If a mind sways, the deal may change. Fair enough. Gives me some time to think about it at least. Of course, now I'm making enough credits to make it work, so there's that. <sighs> uh, there's apparently a new thing in the galactic community. Repeal the readied shield, you whores. Get out of here. Get out of here. I just put that in and you people want to repeal it immediately. Fuck you. Fuck you! Okay. Some of these are getting really, really high levels of support. Well, I expected this one because I, I support Science it, Division but... reports a new breakthrough. Whoopsie doodle. Last call. Okay. Valens! Soon we will depart your territory. 
We must go wherever the current of cosmic energy credits takes us. Have you considered our offer? Ah, uh, sure, why not? Let's do it. Blessings upon you, Phalens, for your business brings us closer to the goddess. Right. Okay. Um. Charter of Workers' Rights. Yeah, a lot of these aren't going to aren't going to pass muster. But uh, wow, this one has a lot of support. Has a lot of support. We might be in trouble. <laughs> we might be in trouble. Uh. Because it would cut our diplomatic weight from fleet power. Eh, screw it. We'll just let it float by. Hey! With pre-programmed nano circuits, many consumer products can be rapidly assembled in fabricators. Beautiful. That's what I wanted. Um, rare crystal manufacturing. That's also very nice. And very cheap. The crystallization process is complicated and difficult. But synthetic crystals can be manufactured by using specialized industrial plants. Cool. Do it. Right now. What? Oh, antimatter power is almost done. <laughs> it's almost done. It'll be done within the second I turn freaking time back on. Alright. And there's that. And I will send you back after you're done with all that. And we're good. Um. Hmm. With that in mind, some of those things. Um, how many? I don't have that many crystals coming in. So, I guess what I should be doing is mainly there. Actually, you know what? Let's not do that. Remove that. Um, population, what are we looking at? Oh, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. It's not yet. Um, we'll get started on building some... No. We'll get started on building some... Uh, crystal manufacturing buildings when that technology is unlocked and then we'll get started on making a few of these huh. upkeep uh, that upkeep is going to be a pain in the butt though I tell you what there's that anyway get started on one Science Division reports a new breakthrough. And the antimatter is done. Beautiful. And market analysis algorithms. Basic administrative AIs can be used to streamline supply and demand lines, reducing waste. It's pretty good. Although, honestly, if we're going to get into the... Uh, creation of materials from nothing, really. We're gonna wanna start doing that now. So, volatile material plants is the next thing we should be working on, personally, I think. Aside from the obvious safety concerns, the artificial creation of volatile moats is an extremely delicate and complicated process that requires highly specialized equipment. Then let's do it. We're already working on crystal manufacture. Let's get going on that too. Why not? Alonzi? Whoops. That was... <laughs> that was not supposed to come out of my mouth. <laughs> I am a who nerd. All right. Senate floor is now in session talking about that. We are all up... Oh, am I abstaining with the Cetharian Authority? Really? Ugh. 
Ugh. I have to be in the same... Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck it. I'm not being associated with the Cetharian entity. Fuck them. Fuck them. Alright. It's very weak support from that. and Plus, I don't have the friggin... Oh, I do have the influence to propose it. But I don't want to do that. Um... Sanctions. Empires likely to support minor administrative sanctions. Hmm. Empires that have been denounced or are in breach of galactic law. Hmm. Before any sanctions can be declared, a resolution must be passed that can cause an empire to be denounced or to be in breach of galactic law. Interesting. Well, uh, did we already... No, we haven't done anything for sanctions of anything yet. Electric priorities. Okay. Um, rules of war. Reverence for life. Purging other than displacement and the use of world crackers is banned. Damn. And minor military sanctions. Hmm. Hmm. Environment and technology. Okay. Huh. Interesting. I'm, I'm looking at sanctions as something I can propose in the future. Just ideas that I can throw out there and see if they like it or not. Because I do not like any of these that everyone has been putting up. Especially the Sutherian Entities thing. You're the only one who supports it. Fuck you, dude. <laughs> Alright. Anyway, we'll allow that to go on. And... Where are we at? Oh, I managed to do it. <laughs> I managed to get there in time and I'm actually doing it. Oh, I don't know how mad they're going to be. It's fine. Construction complete. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, look at them. They're already expanding. Oh, no. They're already expanding. That means they're going to take some of the stuff I want. Oh, no. Uh, crap. Oh, shit. Uh, balls. Oh, fuck. Construction complete. All right. That means I need to start moving forward on some things okay All right. welp i didn't expect i had to start making moves so soon but here we are oh no oh no oh no okay we have traditions available though nice and we finish out harmony with it all right that's beautiful utopian dream the, uh, the dream of a utopian future drives our people ever forwards a better tomorrow is worth fighting for Cool. Let's do it. And we get another Ascension perk. Beautiful. What can I do? Uh, I wanted to do Engineered Evolution, but it's not something I can do yet. Oh, no. <laughs> the flesh is weak. Okay, that's something you can easily do. Yeah, no problems there. Huh. Galactic Force Projection. I could do that. But why would I want to do that? Especially since I'm already halfway 
a little less than halfway, actually, underneath my limit for a fleet. Why would I then tack on this when I don't need it? At least not yet. Huh. Transcendent learning, not necessary. Um... Enigmatic engineering, that would be nice. Um, world shaper, that would be nice. That'd be cool, actually. Need the climate restoration technology. Damn it, I don't have it yet. So, Xeno compatibility needs the gene tailoring as well as the evolutionary mastery and engineered evolution. Okay, so I need to wait, is what you're telling me. <laughs> huh. Arcology project. Thus we shall make a world of the city and a city of the world. Turns the planet into an Ecumenopolis. Okay. Increasing housing, resource production, and population growth, and unlocking special arcology districts at the expense of the planet's natural resources becoming inaccessible, preventing all future construction of generator, mining, and agricultural districts. Interesting. Very interesting. Transcendence. Huh. Okay. Well, nothing I'm seeing here is something I want to do yet. So I guess I'll just hold off until I get the tech required for what I do want, which is gene tailoring. I want to eventually be able to do that, which is fine by me. All right. Okay. Chitris 1A. That's a continental world, but it's tiny. Follow the current of cosmic energy credits, Fenlands, and it will take you to the truth. There is no better product than that which carries the holy seal of Numa. Okay. Show us your wares, then. Okay, another governor. I have already gotten one of those. So, no. Bye. Construction complete. In fact, it's to the point that I don't need one. Like, period. I already have plenty... <laughs> plenty of governors. Wait, what? Procti... Maghone. What? Merchant of Numa? Wasn't... Wait, what? Wasn't this the... Wasn't this the... Huh? Huh? I'm not remembering a thing, <laughs> clearly. But uh, also, there is the fact that I need to end this episode because we have been going for a little too long. So, uh, we have discovered quite a bit of new technology. We have also witnessed the birth of a new empire, which is kind of cool. And uh, we're also going to try and make sure that empire doesn't take things that I want, uh, which is, you know good for me in the long term so uh yeah there we go with that here's hoping we manage to keep that together anyway thank you all so much for watching click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more click the like button if you like this particular video and share in comments so can bring more people into this community we can talk about the games we're playing together and i will see y'all in the next episode this has been the one the only stray cat playing games and Trying to establish our empire as a forefront 
to the entire community, the forefront uh, leader in the entire galactic community. And uh, we're having a hell of a time to do that, but uh, we'll eventually get there. Probably. We're working on it. Uh, first things first, we need to make sure we protect our interests first. So that's what we're going to do for you.